The interesting thing, the customer supplied one of these, I've not seen one before. So it's obviously, it's a 30 amp socket and then it's got the cooker outlet as well on it. So obviously I've to mount a box on the back, a Patrick's box on the back and, um, and then I suppose you just put the hob into, into here and then the oven can just plug into the socket. So this is what was there before. Just a 30 amp socket, and so I just took it off. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this wired up into here first, and then it's much easier to wire it up on the surface here, and then mount it all in one go onto the back wall. Okay, so I've mounted this on here. I've clamped the back of the cable into the patches box, so it's nice and secure. And then also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I bought the live on the right and the neutral on the left, and hopefully the um, CPC in the middle, because it lines up with the uh, screw terminals inside. Nice and neat. I'm a fan of using washers when I fix things on to the wall like that because you can get them nice and tight you don't have to worry about cracking the um, boxes I do find some of the patches boxes do crack quite easily if you use washers it works nicely the hob is nicely wired up into there and the clamp is nice and secure the terminals are fixed nice in there so now I can screw the box on I'll obviously plug a cooker in and then I can just sit the hob in nice and easily I'll get these screwed back in and then I can put the oven back plug it in and put the hob in okay so it's all back in the hob just fitted in there quite nicely and the oven is on 